गुड मॉर्निंग लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर सुबोध किशरवानी वर्किंग विद स्कूल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज इंदिरा गांधी नेशनल ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी द टॉपिक विच आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टूडे इज इमर्जिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन बिजनेस इन टूडेज कॉम्पिटेटिव वर्ल्ड वेन लाइफ इज सो कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ओनली वे ऑफ सक्सेस इज रेगुलर अपग्रेडेशन इन हार्ड वर्क देर इज नो डाउट अ सक्सेस स्टोरीज ऑफ पीपल एंड बिजनेस हु हैव कोलेबरेटेड एंड डू अ वंडर्स इन दिस इन दिस एरा ऑफ बिजनेस so uh, opportunity is something which is going to play a very important role what we have observed that that opportunity is something which can which can take a shape of our ideas which can take a shape of a concept which can take a shape of out of box approach so this is the the topic which is very burgeoning in nature that is there are certain opportunities which are uh, working as a boon for the organization working for a boon for the business working for a boon for the Uh, companies and for the trade and commerce so this course is basically bcoc 132 this is part of our bcom cbcs course uh, we are moving from conventional bcom to a choice based credit system and uh, you will find out that uh, the course is quite burgeoning in nature and uh, it is helping uh, learners to uh, make their own entities develop their own platforms develop their own companies and business so when you go more into the depth of the opportunity opportunity is varies from circumstances to circumstances sometimes opportunity take a shape of ideas and uh, sometimes the opportunity take a shape of a concept so how you are going to apply uh, how you are going to grab the opportunity that is something which is going to play a very important role in the in the business and in the coming scenario so out of box approach is something which is changing with the change in time and uh, the companies who have not changed themselves who have not uh, uh, update themselves they become redundant they they out they are out from the market they are out from the picture so there was a time when shelf life of a company was was uh, 50 years or 60 years right now the philosophy had changed technology had had uh, bring a paradigm shift in this in this in this thing and we have we have seen that a uh, uh, lot of other things are going to play a very important role and the, the definition of technology is also changing with the change of time there was a time when technology was just merely a computers or you know other things but if you talk in the present scenario the technology is something which is which is uh, more one step ahead to that it is a it is it is right now a blockchain it is artificial intelligence or you know uh, the pandemic stage is going on and we have observed that uh, uh, that during this lockdown period people are not in a position to move from one place to another it does not mean that that business is not going But when we talk about the business business is basically a philosophy which is perpetual in nature so uh, and always believe in going concern so uh, with the change of time with the change of effort with the change of you know friends the the business also changes but it's and uh, there were some players who survive who was there from from the day one but uh, those who are not you know uh, aligned with the consumers uh, uh, not a good pay masters they are out from this uh, fray so what we have observed that uh, uh, that uh, to uh, to be into a market to be into a uh, competition you have to take care all the approach you have to be holistic in nature and you have to take into consideration many things like uh, taking care of your employee uh, providing a conducive environment so that they can they can perform well and uh, on the other hand interacting with your consumers on a regular basis if you are not interacting with your, uh, with your consumers on on a on a routine basis what will happen the customer will switch over from from your brand and it will go to other brands so what i was talking about that uh, uh, that in the present scenario things have been changed and uh, we have moved from push approach to uh, pull approach so when you talk about the push approach push approach is more supply centric whereas when you talk about uh, the pull approach pull approach is more customer centric so when you are talking when you are customer centric you are uh, you are making a things in such a manner that end of the day consumers are going to be benefited so if the consumers are going to be benefited their mouth marketing is going to uh, add a add a feather in a cap so this is the thing which is going on and what we have observed that there are many things which are which are changing so the companies who have changed themselves with the change of time they they are in the picture and those who are not able to change themselves they are away from the 
scenario. So we have observed that they were the brands, they were the good brands which were dominating the market. Like take example of a Nokia or Kodak. But what happened right now that uh, the, they are evaporated? So it is just because that they are not taking care about their consumers and they are not, you know, favoring the need of the hours. So need of the hour is what that you have to change yourself. You have to change every time. So the trend is going on changing. So it's not like that. Sometimes those who are able to adapt the change, they are they are in the uh, picture. Those who are not able to adapt the change, they are out from the picture. So when you talk about the business. Uh, no doubt this consumer role is quite important and how you're going to interact with your consumers, what latest technologies you're going to imbibe, that is going to matter. But on the other hand, you have to take care about your consumers on a routine basis, on a regular basis. We have observed that, that the consumers are, are, are very frequent in nature. They move from one place to another very fast. So, so if you are not going to if you're, if you're not going to uh, cater your customers in a, in a systematic manner, uh, there are chances that they can switch over. And uh, on the other hand, you, we have to see the scenario also, what the scenario is. Sometimes what happens, uh, we are good in technologies, we are good in interacting with the consumers, but we are not able to adapt the new technology. So new technology is nothing but changing the face of the business right now. And what we have observed that, that if you are uh, changing uh, yourself and if you are taking the help of the technology and uh, which can uh, bridge the gap between the consumers and the vendors so very easily the things are things can able to go on so uh, we will talk about many aspects we will talk about all the contemporary thoughts that how the uh, what are the certain opportunities which the entrepreneur the the startups uh, startup is basically you know a new uh, venture established by the individual persons Rather, they are the innovators, they are the creators. And uh, when you talk about the uh, capital, they have the scarcity of the capital, but in the backdrop, they have a vision in their mind. So with the help of new thoughts, with the help of vision, they, they try to bring the new know-hows and, and, uh, and the venture capitalists, the angel investors, or, or we can say the, uh, the, the person who are funding the this particular startups, they can take the stakes and from there the companies come up. We have seen that uh, uh, in, the, in the past that a lot of startups had come up. If you talk about you know, the big brands like Amazon, which is right now at the number one slot, uh, started as a startups and uh, 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 taken some, some big uh, uh, amount from, from, the, from the ventures, from the venture capitalists and then, they, then the company come up. So the Amazon, which has started the business in US by, by selling the old books, then you know converted into a books, then bring their own gadgets called Kindle. And finally, what had happened, you see that right now, it's one of the biggest e-commerce company in the, in the world. So this is how the company had changed themselves. And uh, there are some good examples. We have examples of Google, we have examples of Microsoft, how these companies have started from a, from a small garage or from the small you know, rooms in, a, uh, in universities and how the companies have grown themselves. So this is something which is going to uh, uh, play a very important role and we have to see that how the trend is going to be changed. If people can adapt the change, it's fine. If they are not going to adapt the change, they will be out from the fray. So if you talk about uh, the presentation, the today's presentation, what we are going to talk about, that how do opportunities play an important role in enhancing business? Because uh, when you talk about the opportunity, sometimes uh, the business uh, man is doing a stereotype approach, following a stereotype approach and doing a business. But what had happened that uh, the new opportunities come, sometimes uh, they have to migrate from, from their jurisdiction to, to, to the different part of the world, like cross-border business they have to do and they are not grabbing that opportunity. So ultimately what happened that uh, their business uh, uh, narrow down to that particular jurisdictions and they are not able to uh, enhance, expand their business. So this is a thing which is there and, and there are certain trends which are changing with the change in business. We have seen that uh, there was a time when business was purely a brick and mortar business where uh, uh, we have got stereotype distribution channels either from the uh, wholesalers, from the manufacturers to wholesalers and retailers and then finally the consumers. But right now with the help of e-commerce what had happened that uh, people are buying the goods 
or selling the goods through through uh, online platforms. So this is a change which which the companies is going to adapt. If the companies are not going to adapt this, ultimately what will happen? They are not going to uh, exist themselves in the in the in the in the in the present market. So uh, if they want to exist in the present scenario, they have to adapt the change. Now the now the question is that uh, that what exactly the uh, when you are bringing change in the business, ultimately what had happened, uh, it's not everybody cup of tea to always go for the change. If you are not uh, following a gradual process of, of bringing a change, what will happen that you will uh, you will be in a, in, a, in a very turmoil stage. So that need to be taken care that, that how we are going to adapt the change. And uh, this change could be a routine process, it could be a gradual process, and uh, we can adapt the change or uh, implement the change in a very systematic manner. Because when you are going for purely implementation of technology in one go or in one shot, what is happening that, that your whole legacy system, your whole conventional way of doing the things is going to be, it's become haphazard. So if that thing become haphazard, the, the people who are working in the organizations, they, they feel unsafe. They, they are not secure about their jobs. So, how you're, so changing the mindset is something which is going to play a very important role. So if you are not going to change the mindset of the individual or, the, or your counterpart or your employee, ultimately things are going to be changed. So uh, what we have to do, we have to bring a lot of things into consideration. So this paradigm shift from website to application-based business is going on. We have, we have seen that we, there was a time when business was purely in a brick and mortar mode and we follow a stereotype approach. Then what had happened that we have moved from uh, the stereotype to website-based business where with the help of websites or with the help of statistics, you know, uh, approaches, we have done a business. But right now, the business is purely application-based. Uh, what we can use the terminology in the present scenario is the app-based. So this app-based is nothing but a real-time approach. So where, where consumers are, are, are buying the goods at, as per their own pace and style. So when they are free, they can, they can buy the things. When they are in office, they can, uh, they can uh, do the shopping. So uh, it's not like that you have earmarked certain time for, for certain things. So when you are in, in your office, uh, you, can, you can do the shopping. When you are traveling, you can, you can you know, buy some things. So the habits are also going to be changed. And uh, we have seen that, that food habits, the eating habits has also been changed. It's not merely because of lockdown, but because of other aspects, the things had been changed. So, uh, so rather than moving to the brick and mortar restaurants, people are you know, uh, ordering the foods and the foods are delivered by, by this uh, uh, food apps. It could be either Swiggy or Zomato or Food Panda. So, uh, so what exactly the things are going to be uh, there that the habits are going to be changed. People know that uh, when they are going for particular things, uh, it's require a time, it's require a cost. So travel time is also there. And uh, you see the, the culture of the metropolitan cities or the big cities where traffic is uh, uh, creating a hue and cry situation. So, so how the things are going to be changed? And so when you are talking about you know, emerging opportunities in business, when you talk about the contemporary trends, the, the, the guru mantra behind is that you have to change the mindset of the individual. You have to change the mindset of the company. You have to change the mindset of, 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 of both the things, like, like the buyer, seller, or, those, or the person who are at the uh, end point or the person who are at the finish point. So, Impact of use of plastic money and e-wallets are coming up in a big manner. We have seen that uh, uh, there was a time when when people use, usually go to bank and uh, and devote you know certain hours to update their accounts balance in the in the banks or to withdraw money. They have to you know devote certain time, say one hour or two hour. Right now, with the help of net banking, you are able to know what's your uh, how much transaction you have done in a day. Or so there's no need of you know going to the bank. So uh, from there, the culture had been changed and we have seen that the plastic money philosophy had come up. Rather than uh, taking a money in, your, in our wallets, we have used the plastic money. So, but right now, the model of plastic money is also uh, going to be eradicated and we have come up with a new philosophy called e-wallets. So either it could be, you know, and all the big companies are having their own wallets. If you talk about Amazon, they have Amazon Pay. If you talk about 
you know, uh, Paytm, they have their own wallets and some of the companies who are not having the wallets, like the travel industries, when we go for uh, uh, booking a taxi, we use the Paytm wallet. So, so these wallets are, are not confined to the particular company organizations, but helping us uh, when, uh, where or when we are able to uh, get a requirement of it. So what we are mean to say that this uh, this this uh, this philosophy is going to be changed. And right now, what happened? We have seen that uh, we are more uh, frequently using the WhatsApp. Uh, the WhatsApp is also planning to come up their uh, own wallets. So what is the use of this wallet? When you talk about the wallet, wallet is uh, is a we can we can see it's one step ahead to that where the certain amount is is on your on your particular app and you can transfer the payment from that so sometimes you can link your credit card and some of the wallets are giving some 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 credit also so you can have a credit of of the, of uh, of uh, one up to 1 lakh rupees so once you use that you can uh, and your if your credit ratings are good they can give you more uh, credits so this is the way by which when you don't have a money but still you are having a wallets with you so uh, it is it is helping you at every juncture at every places so examine the digital business collision with market place trends we have seen that uh, digitization is is right now uh, applying in all the in all the aspects and uh, and the company who are not uh, talking about who are not using this technology ultimately what is going on they either uh, uh, out from the picture or collaborate with these players we have seen that uh, there were some good alliances in the uh, in the future or in the present or or in the current scenario we have seen that that uh, there is one player called geo geo is basically more into uh, uh, mobiles uh, uh, calling and data uh, retrieving things right now they have collaborated with uh, with facebook and facebook had invested somewhere around uh, taken 10% stake of this company and invested somewhere around 53000 crores so uh, what is the intention behind that we know that facebook is a social networking site and uh, they have got a huge number of footfall uh, and uh, their their users are are gigantic in nature and uh, they know the taste about their users so right now when you talk about the data data is not merely a pure uh, a conventional data the data philosophy is changing the, if we talk in the present scenario in the 2020 data is not uh, that you talk about name email or mobile it is something which is over and above to that it can uh, if you talk about the data data can can give you information about that what is the taste of the consumers when when exactly the consumers go for online shopping when exactly he goes for window dressing when exactly he go for real time buying so this data is basically a real time data where uh, and uh, uh, what kind of interest he or she have whether he is he want he is a frequent traveler or he travels you know merrily uh, or uh, so these kind of you know things which is there which which gives us a glimpse about that what exactly the data is and uh, this data is quite precious in nature and uh, when you know about the taste of the consumers you can make the product you can reframe the product you can make you can make the tailor made product which is exclusively designed for for the uh, for the individual so that is something uh, that is going to play a very important role so where uh, where we are uh, we are knowing what exactly the consumer is and when exactly the consumer is coming for buying that is more more, Im more important what we have observed that and uh, this data can also provide us information that this is the travel time of the individual and at this time he or she is uh, 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 in the office or basically and this is the time where, when he or she is going for the window dressing and this is time when exactly he or she is going to buy a product so so when you know that and uh, it can also provide us at what time the individuals can go for the particular url or the particular website so during that time you can you can put some buzz to them you can provide them certain informations or or you know some uh, some link can come up which can navigate them that uh, that why not you can try for this particular URL and buy your product from there. So taste of the consumers uh, is uh, is knowing by the company now and uh, only thing is that how to how to hit the consumers so that they can buy the product and they can buy the particular product. So sometimes what happened and uh, 
so this is the trend which is going on and we will see how the things are going to be changed. So prior to talking more about this, there are certain, I, I will talk on what exactly the business scenario is right now and we have seen that the business scenario is changing with the change in time and a uh, lot of trend is coming up. The, the first generation entrepreneurs who were uh, who 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 have never exist right now are are coming up with with certain startups and uh, and these startups are backed by by the uh, by the business tycoons like uh, uh, like some of the you know the initiators who have done a good job in uh, as a businessman in India like like uh, Narayan Murthy from Infosys or or we can say Ratan, Ratan Tata from Tata Groups, they have massively invested on these startups. And the intention is that once and they once they once they pump the money to these companies, they they take a stake in that company, either 10%, 20%. We have seen that Flipkart is one of the company which was started by two Bansal friends who were working in IIT and from there the company had been started. And uh, uh, and a lot of venture capitalists who had funded these companies. So, uh, if you see the company, uh, the venture capitalists, the Tiger Global, who had funded Amazon long back, maybe 10 years, 20 years back, this company had massively invest in Flipkart in the beginning stages. So, from there, the company followed the same modus operandi, what the Amazon was doing that started, you know, uh, with a book business in India and gradually, you know, selling all, all things, like from, uh, fast moving consumer goods to to ele white goods to electronic goods and and uh, other goods so what we have observed that the scenario of business had been changed and if you are not going to tie up with these companies uh, take example of a of a google google is now bringing up their they have got their own wallets and in the coming years they are planning to do many things the company who have got a good number of footfalls they are tying up with the stereotype players in the business and come up with the uh, different approaches. Uh, the the good example is that that how the Facebook had invested in Jio, and now what the Jio is going to do. We are we know that Indian retail industry is purely uh, uh, we can we can say it's somewhat organized, somewhat unorganized. But if you more talk a, more go into the depth of it, you will find out that uh, that still 40 to 60 percent is unorganized. Where Parchunwala is is nearby your uh, uh, home or nearby your mohalla and they are there and from there we buy a product. So what this Geo is going to do, Geo with the help of Facebook because everybody is now equipped with the social networking sites. So they are uh, they are going to follow a blended approach. It could be rather you can say it's not a brick and mortar approach but they will follow uh, a different way of doing the things. So this these Parchunwala will have a stock of, of of certain commodities, and you have a order. You can order through Geo, and and uh, they and the packet will be delivered by this Parchunwala who are who are near your homes. So the the uh, model is quite clear that uh, you will go for online buying and selling, but the product will be delivered either from from these stores or you can go and pick up from their store. So so the intention is very clear that they are going to use the existing existing stuffs. What uh, what the what the Indian you know market have, and then they are going to do all those things. So this is the thing which is going on, and a lot of other trend is going to be changed. We have we have seen that there was a time when shelf life of the company was 60 years, but right now it's narrowed down to 20 or 30 years, and and in the coming years you will find out it will be more uh, reduced to four years or five years. So those who are not going to perform, they will be redundant, they will be out from the pictures, and. Uh, uh, Organizations, uh, US, uh, the uh, survival or credibility, not not rely or on the technology they are using, but how they are going to interact with the consumers and how they are going to take care about their employees. That is more important because uh, they are the backbone of the company. If you are not going to take care about your employees, ultimately what will happen? The whole thing becomes haphazard. Today's scenario is more like integrated kind of where you have to see the every every clients who are there if you are if one of the chain is bred ultimately what will happen you are not in a position to streamline the whole process so when you are not going to streamline there will be a cut off in the communications and when the cut off in the communications that particular uh, 
things is not going to work. So a lot of things are going to be there, and uh, we have we have seen that uh, in the in this lockdown period, which is of 75 to 80 days, that uh, that IT industry market had come up. They uh, it's a, it's the only industry where we have observed that that they have not. Uh, uh, have a downfall, and uh, they and they are very perpetual in their works, and things were going on, and they follow the different approaches like work from home culture is coming up, where we have seen that we have moved from uh, automation to office automation. Now WFH model is coming up, and uh, all these uh, big companies, either talk about Facebook or Google, they have clearly mentioned that they are going to provide certain gadgets to their employees. Uh, and fund them and they purely believes in work from home model till one year or you know till this pandemic can go on so this is the change which is coming up and the, uh, the, they are checking the efficiency of the employee they filter down and then they find out who are uh, working well so a lot of things are going to be changed and you will see that in the coming years more change is going to come up and uh, it's not like that the startups are going to be changed or the new company is going to be changed. The old companies also, you know, intermingle with the new companies and a uh, lot of change is also coming up. So entrepreneurs like Bill Gates, we have seen that they have, they have changed. So right now, if you see their products, either talk about the windows, it's equipped with, you know, the, the variety of things. Like it's equipped with the meetings also, so there's no need to buy uh, a separate meeting software. It's equipped with that. So Microsoft Team is some one of the product which is doing a good job into it. Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook is also crossing the boundaries, and you know it's not confined to the social networking site. But uh, what we have observed that that it is changing with the change of time, and they have invested in a in a in large number of uh, stereotype companies. And uh, on the other hand, uh, we have seen that uh, Elon Musk, who is a founder of uh, Tesla, that he is into the he is not into the uh, the chaufferless car business, but uh, or the electric cars, but now you know sending rockets to to the Mars, to the to the universe. So that is the change which is coming up. So what we have observed that all these uh, techno savvy companies are are seeing are 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 shaking hands with all the big players and they just want to know that uh, that what the trend is going on so that they can invest more amount into it jack ma is a founder of alibaba and we have seen that uh, he is right now taken a leave from the company and the intention is very clear he is no more uh, uh, but he is right now a mentor of the company so when you talk about the startup when you talk about you know the business you have to see that mentors roles are quite important Narayan Murthy, who was the founder of uh, Infosys, when he had uh, formulated this company with seven individuals, Nandan Linkeni was one of them. In that, at that time, the the Y2K issue was uh, was very burgeoning in nature in US. And 97, 98, this company had done a huge business. So, uh, if you go into the backdrop, you will find out that uh, Narayan Murthy, uh, when when they have started this business, uh, Infosys. And they were doing this business. They know that this Y2K issue is going to be collapsed at a certain time because Y2K issue was nothing but a year 2000 problem. So when we have, when we are going to put the dates, it is DD, MM, and four Ys are there. So rather than putting the four Ys in the beginning stages, the all these uh, uh, codings in the software was uh, was confined to the two Ys. So they have uh, they have done everything. They have revamped the whole process and make and and reduce this challenge of uh, Y2K issues. But Narayan Murthy was very uh, very clear in his mind that once this Y2K issue will over, this company would be on the deathbeds because once the issue over, there is no job for it. So they from the day one they have they have thought of and the and those people who were working in Y2K issue, they were all the uh, big man at that time and. Uh, and the company revenue was like that, that 80% business was coming from Y2K, Y2K issue, related issues, and 20% was coming from, from other approaches. So they have, uh, this guy had, uh, the founder of uh, uh, Infosys had done a, a very intelligent thing. The, uh, he had taken a lot of, uh, those people who were working in the Y2K issues, they were the experts, they were the wizards. So he had taken all of them and, uh, and retained only 10% into it. So these 10%, uh, with, the, with that 10%, he had put another, you know, uh, uh, 
4,000, 5,000 people, uh, young chap forces. So now what happened that Y2K issue was handled by these young uh, 4,000, 5,000 people and remaining 90% which he had taken, he had uh, uh, engaged them in a, in a new project. And uh, that new project was nothing but development of the new softwares and uh, bringing some new products. Like Finical, you know, Finical is a, is a very good product which is used for the banking industries. And they had tied up with all the, all the, all the big companies and uh, like SAP, they become the aggregators of, of all these companies and uh, launch their own ERP softwares. So when you talk about the ERP softwares, ERP softwares are the integrated softwares. So the purpose was very clear that uh, they make the softwares and, uh, and they sell it to the uh, companies, not confined to India, but other part of the world. And right now you see their business uh, crossed uh, and uh, multiply and gradually they have done, a, uh, they have generated a huge amount. So this is a model, this is the procedure which the companies are following and uh, the change which is there. It's not like that the company is doing well, but uh, uh, you have a shelf life that up to up to certain time this company will will do well because new players are are doing lot of r and d lot of research and development and no doubt they will come up with a with a very thought provoking approaches so if you are not going to change yourself you will be out so jeb bezos what we have observed that is one of the founders of uh, amazon and he also had come up with a very conf very different approaches and what he had observed that that amazon business was not confined to e-commerce and, uh, and if we uh, just concentrate on this e-commerce business, we will be away from the picture. So what he had done, he had developed their own, uh, you know, uh, servers related things. So AWS is one of the product which is owned by uh, Jeff Bezos. And uh, AWS is nothing but Amazon Web Services. So they are into the cloud computing, they are into, you know, the, uh, the, the technology selling things. So it's not like that e-commerce is a company which is confined to, uh, Amazon is a company which is confined to e-commerce only. Amazon, uh, Jeff Bezos is into many business and Prime Video is one of the ingredients of that. What we have seen that uh, we uh, surprised almost a decade back that how without set up box we can able to see the movies. But right now the philosophy had been changed. The, the web series philosophy had come up. Either it could be delivered by YouTube or by Netflix or by Prime Video. So what we have seen that this is uh, one, of the, one of the different verticals which this company have created. And Jeff Bezos is something, uh, Jeff Bezos is one who had, who tried to believe in, uh, in, do, in doing something new. And uh, so uh, we have seen that how the things are going to be changed in coming years and more things are going to become. Uh, it's just because that you are giving flexibility to your uh, employees and uh, provide them a leverage so that they can think out of box. They try to create, you know, new things which, which uh, by and large uh, would be benefited by a company. So there are certain facts and figures which is, which is no doubt is going to play a very important role. And uh, if we see that, uh, 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 that there are six companies who are basically, you know, doing a good job in, uh, in US, in India or in China. So uh, their facts and figures are, are very important. Like uh, we have seen, we have talked about Amazon, we have talked about Google and Facebook. And in India also Flipkart is a company which was doing well by, by two Indians. And then later on they, they engaged the good venture capitalists. And finally what had happened that Walmart had owned this company. So, so this is the change which is coming up. And... Uh, and there are certain facts and figures because uh, if you are if you are not going for the facts and figures, you are not going to find out what how the things are going to be changed. So this is basically uh, I was talking. I was I try to talk about the startups because uh, because when you talk when you are not going to talk about the startups because today's scenario is basically a scenario of of the first generation entrepreneurs. It's not there was a time when business was just uh, you know. Uh, was not everybody cup of tea and uh, those who having uh, uh, the business uh, the the old uh, dynasty businesses was was going to play a very important role and uh, we have we have seen that uh, when the startup philosophy had been started then the lot of things had come up the the technocrats who were studying in the flagship institutions like in india in iits or in iams uh, uh, or in US, uh, when you talk about MIT, when you talk about Harvard, Wharton. So where we have observed that 
these startups had been created by by the by the first generation entrepreneurs they were the students they they do lot of research and when they when they study lot of literature they they come to certain gaps and from that gaps they they come to know that uh, this these are the niche areas where business need to be focused and created so they create the business now the biggest challenge was was them was the who is going to fund because when you talk about the setting up a business you require a cost so they make a dpr they make a detailed project report then they work on it they make a prototype of it then the then they interact with the venture capitalists so there are some venture capitalists as i have talked about there were some venture capitalists who have funded amazon because jeb bezos was also not an big entrepreneur but uh, the vision was very clear if you if you go into the backdrop of amazon the st it starts with a and n to z so it means that anything which starts from a to z is is sold by amazon so that is the thing which is there so venture capitalist role is quite pivotal in nature and they uh, they uh, uh, they are the private equity investors and they provide capitals and finally what happen when they when they give capital they they see the vision and then uh, take the stake in the company it's not like that every time they are in the win win stage what we have observed that uh, sometimes what happen but they are very stringent in nature they do lot of homework while investing in the company but again uh, the 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 grass is not always green at other side we have we have seen that that the business some uh, uh, there were some investors who have invested in this business are not get a happy returns not 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 get a good returns because the reason behind is that that after certain time certain issue comes up their planning fails or the scenario is not permitting them to survive uh, so that is the reason sometimes they had a loss and uh, uh, these venture capitalists sometimes uh, have certain losses also but and uh, this had happened with the startups also because when startup started we uh, everything is quite good in nature but finally what happen after certain time out of that only you know 10% or 5% get the success and 95% fails the reason is very clear that that those who are not uh, you know serious about the things they can out and and there are certain unfavorable circumstances which come up and uh, sometimes what happen the existing players make themselves more uh, 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 compatible and finally they compete with these players and make this player out from the market so this is the thing which is there for that what is going on the business incubators had been established and these incubators are are privately and publicly created somewhere you know it's a paid uh, where uh, when you work in the incubators you get a lot of facilities and uh, you get a lot of privileges on and these incubators are 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 basically navigating these startups or their founders to work more in a more uh, more uh, uh, systematic manner so so this is the thing which is which is there and uh, and uh, these incubators are now established in, in the institutions also like uh, when uh, when uh, the students are pursuing their btech first year or pursuing their masters uh, at that time it's part of their projects so they can work on their projects and they can parallelly you know do other things uh, like that so it's it's like they are part of the dissertation sometimes rather than involving in the semesters they fully involved in the in the with this incubator cell so these incubator cells are uh, are providing them business advice resources contacts and capital also so sometimes what we have observed that there were some institutions who have taken stake in the in these startups also so uh, the good startups had been started by um, by the young founders and uh, we have seen that the institutions like mit and harvard they have invested into it so this is the thing which is going on so and moral of the story is that the faith is going to matter when you have a holistic approach when you have a teamwork approach ultimately the things are going to be there on the other hand the crowdfunding philosophy and the practice had been also created where uh, where rather than confined to uh, to take uh, capital from one venture capitalist you have uh, taken money from the masses what the reliance industries have done during the tenure of dhirubhai ambani uh, maybe 2 3 decades back so this is the thing which is going on so when you more talk about when you more talk about the smart business so smart business is basically something which which is 
uh, which change with the change of time. As I have talked about, it is equipped with the machine learning, it is equipped with the artificial intelligence approach, and digital native approach is there. So, what we have observed that algorithm is going to play a very important role. And uh, we have seen that the science and mathematics and other approaches are going to be uh, quite uh, uh, fruitful. And this digital native companies have an advantage of being born online and data ready. So what the companies are doing right now, like uh, I have uh, that uh, the example which I have quoted that Facebook is a social networking site and uh, they are, uh, you know, gradually going up, but no, but they know that the social networking can't go alone because when, uh, when the individual who are with the social networking uh, portals for, for two, three hours, he want many things into it. So they are giving baskets of, you know, avenues into it. So it will be a shopping, there, there will be a shopping cart, there will be a information archives, there will be, uh, you know, certain learning tools. So electronic learning is also going on, shopping is also going on, and uh, you are interacting with your peers. So these digital native companies have the advantage of born online, and they are the one who are transforming this smart business. So we have seen that Amazon is a company which is more into e-commerce, started with the e-commerce right now in cloud computing, in, in, in video streaming, in web, making web series. And, and right now, they are. if you uh, study more about these companies, the, their case studies, you will find out that these companies are buying the brick and mortar stores. The uh, Amazon is, is, is buying, uh, Walmart have a big stake in the big bazaar. Or, you know, the, these brick and mortar stores are now uh, uh, owned by, by these technology enabled companies because they know that, because, because they know that their warehouse is, is not, you know, designed for, uh, for just, you know, providing. So this is the philosophy which is changing and on the other hand, a lot of other business is coming up. Even in e-governance, even, you know, the social causes, we have seen that this change is coming up and technology is also playing a very important role. In India, we talk about midday meal. In India, we talk about other things. We, we see that uh, Anganwadi and we have seen that community kitchen philosophy is coming up. So this community kitchen is, is, is nothing but, you know, a, a, a mega kitchen has been created at one place, which is pure hygienic and uh, and uh, certain parameters which are going to be uh, taken care and from there they deliver the product thank you